Terry Warfield, hope you're having a good day so far. If this is your first time on my channel, I'm a filmmaker, I love making motivational videos, and I love talking about all things tech. So if you like that type of stuff, make sure you hit subscribe. So on the last video, I told y'all I couldn't decide between the Note 10 and if I was gonna get a Galaxy S10 or not. Well, the decision was the only way to get over it and to figure it out is to go get one. So I have went and got a Galaxy S10. A few things real quick. I hate unboxing videos, so that's the reason why you never see them on my channel. I think they're boring, I think they're whack, but this time I'm gonna do it because I had to jump through a few hoops to get this thing. And that made me realize that maybe there's people that aren't as fortunate, maybe they were out of stock, and maybe there's a lot of people who weren't able to get it, and I know a lot of you guys prefer to watch my videos than others. So I'm gonna do the whole unboxing thing, and I'll have you know I waited literally all day till I got home to unbox it just so I could share it with y'all. Next thing, with T-Mobile, the S10 Plus, unless you pre-ordered, is basically out of stock. So the only one that they had in the store was a regular S10. Trust me, I called the Around. nobody have one but I'm cool with that man um, one thing I really liked about the iPhone 10 and the regular galaxies are the size I do appreciate having a smaller phone and the fact that they were able to squeeze all of this screen into this small body I like that so we'll see what happens if I hate it I'll just exchange it for the s10 plus and I also tested out the cameras in the store with both of them and I didn't see a huge difference with the front camera which was a big concern of mine so that's why I went ahead and went for this plus it came in all black and that's the color I wanted everybody else got the white ones and the other colors I wanted a black one most of my stuff is black my new secret lab chair is black I wanted a black phone so um let's get this baby unboxed wait crap that's the wrong phone there we go I got my don't ask me why I got this huge kitchen knife because I can't find my little unboxing knife but anyways here we go oh yeah oh that's pretty that is pretty. Look at all that just falls right on out. Look at that, man. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Let me get back to the box. Uh, SIM card crap. That crap. Charger. Little USB thing. Cable. Little USB thing. Ooh. Nice set of AKGs, man. Listen, I really love these AKG headphones that Samsung puts in a the box. These these headphones for wired joints are everything. And um, that's it. Let's see if anything, everything, anything else is in here. All right, that's it. Back to the phone. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Do your thing, baby, do your thing. I hate branding. I really hate branding. Let's get started. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding you through the steps. She talks? Let's look at the terms and conditions. No. To read and agree to these, we can really get going. I'm cool. I don't care about none of that. All right, so now that this bad boy is set up, man, I have to say right off the rip, this screen is gorgeous. And the regular S10, I think I prefer the size in comparison to like a larger phone. I mean, look at the difference. You see that? I mean, it's a huge difference. Now, obviously, with the Note, you get way more screen real estate. There's an S Pen, way bigger battery. So let me go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to take a few minutes, transfer all my information. And um, I guess kind of give you my thoughts on it real quick. And then uh, we'll say the rest for another video. All right, I got this bad boy all set up and unboxed. Uh, I gotta say, so far, I like it. And I'm not sure if I like it because it's a better phone than the Note 9 because at this point, I think it's too early to make that decision or determination. I think I like it because of the size, right? If you go all the way back to my Galaxy S8 video, one of the things I loved most about the S8 and the iPhone X was the size. And this feels like a phone. Whereas this feels like a pocket computer. This I really feel like is way more, you know, it's way more handheld and I really like that. I also really like the, like the display, obviously. One thing I did notice about the display though, is even going through messing with all the settings and adjusting the white balance and all that stuff in this one, 
The Note 9 screen seems way more accurate. The whites are super white on the Note, whereas they have a warm tint on this. And again, I already went through and tinkered with the settings and everything. And it might just be the nature of the beast. OLED panels, some of them come out with different white balances and different tints. It's just the nature of how they're made. But I do think that the Note 9 screen, crazy I'm saying this, is a little better looking. <laughs> that sound crazy, right? I, I think the other thing I really like that I don't have yet on the Note is Pi. I think Pi makes the whole experience better. It looks way better than Oreo. I don't have Pi on the Note yet, and I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how Pi will fare on the Note because I think that's one of the, the things that makes this phone seem so buttery smooth is Pi. And this is like, Everything that the Note 9 has minus the S Pen. So, you know, it's fast, the speakers are loud, you know, all the new features and all that stuff that it has. It's the one thing though, like right now, I don't know if I feel like this is worth keeping and spending more money when I don't owe anything on this. And the Note 9 is working great. Pi will be here soon. I think that's where I need to do more testing at. I just don't know yet if it's enough to make me leave this and spend money when I own this right now and I don't owe anything on it, you know what I'm saying? But if it's anything you wanna see, in particular, drop it in the comments and I will try my best to make everybody happy. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, drop comments and all of that stuff. I can only grow with your help. So that's all I got for you today. Peace and chicken grease, Terry Warfield. Peace.